Hi loves, it's Sam. So today I have partnered up with Walmart to share 12 home items that you need. These are items that we have that are either home decor pieces or like small kitchen appliances. I'm gonna show you guys a few of my favorites. Um, and these are things that I have tried and that we have been using and we have decorated with and they are just absolutely fabulous. So I'm gonna link everything down below for you guys in case there's anything that you do wanna pick up. Um, I think the most expensive thing is the knife set that I'm gonna show you, but it is so worth it because it's super sharp and it's so beautiful on your counters. So highly recommend it, but everything else is pretty darn affordable. I think it's like most of the stuff is under $20. So really, really good prices. So let's go ahead and get started. Again, everything's linked. Huge thank you to Walmart for partnering up with me for this video and I hope you guys enjoy. So this is um, a little set. You get seven different pumpkins and they're like these little cute white pumpkins. They're very lightweight. I will be honest, they look a little cheap when you get up close, but from far away on like our mantle, they look really, really cute. So they're really affordable. They're super cute. They're lightweight, so they're not gonna like be super breakable or heavy. And you get seven different sized pumpkins. And then you can just set them wherever you need to set them for some easy, instant fall decor and I just love that they're just like a plain white. Okay, next we have another decor piece. So if I can just scooch on over here. These vases right here are from Better Homes and Gardens. They have two different sizes. I got both of them so you guys could see the different um, sizes. One I think is called like large and one is medium. So those are really affordable. I think they're like under $10 or around the $10 mark. Um, really cute, they kind of have like that little like, I don't know what is the word for the texture, but you know what I mean? It's kind of like speckly or something. Um, and then these, this was one set, one pack, and it's like this gorgeous pompous grass, but it has like these really pretty kind of like, almost like a mauve kind of blush tone in it. And then these really soft kind of fluffy ones. They're absolutely gorgeous. So I split the pack into two so that I could have both of these up here. Aren't they so cute? I just love them. I think it was like around $15 for the pompous grass. And then again, the bases were around $10 each. So pretty, so cute. They're just really simple and they just make your decor, like they just kind of make it look real chic, but kind of earthy, like really pretty. Okay, next is another decor piece. I thought this would be perfect for like, the, you know, Thanksgiving coming up and just having your table looking delightful. This is a really pretty jute table runner from Better Homes and Gardens. Better Homes and Gardens has really been adding some beautiful decor. I love the texture and the different tones in there. It's just really pretty. This is 14 inches by 72 inches long, so pretty long. I have been wanting new knives, but I was like, oh, those are ugly. Like I never could find ones that I thought were cute. So then when I saw that Drew Barrymore came out with this new home line at Walmart, I was like, oh my gosh. So I, I finally did it. I broke down and I got, I was like, you know what? I'm a big girl now. I need some nice knives. So we, I mean, we've literally had the same Costco knives for years. They're bright orange, bright red. They're like so chipped up. They look horrendous and they're not sharp at all. So I got this. It was like, I don't know, it's kind of up there, but I think knife sets are kind of up there if you get like a pretty decent one. These are so sharp, you guys. So this is what the box looks like. Her packaging, I mean, just her whole, everything that she's come out with is just absolutely beautiful. But here it is in real life, you guys. Not only does it look absolutely gorgeous on your counter or your your island or whatever it is that you have it on. We have it on our island because our kitchen is just real tiny. Um, but it's just so beautiful. I absolutely love it. It is just such a nice, like natural, kind of simple chic. But then the knives itself are like amazing. These scissors are so sharp. This thing, wow, look at that. Sharp, beautiful. You feel fancy when you're cutting things. They cut through like, you know how when you try to cut a tomato with a knife that isn't serrated and it just like, it just squishes the tomato? Not with these. You can use an unserrated knife on those tomatoes and they'll slice right through. Um, they're just really gorgeous. So you have that one. Those are the two I use the most. Then we've got this one, which is serrated. That one is actually very good for cutting tomatoes. I'm not a knife expert. I'm actually really, I hate cooking. This is quite a good one for cutting like little strawberries and things. Oh no, I just stopped it. And then 
You have a lot of steak knives. I think all of the rest of them are steak knives. We actually don't eat steak, so we never use these ever, but they would be good for cutting tomatoes or chicken or whatever it is that you want to cut. We literally have never used those ones. We just use the other, the top part, but I just love the wood base like right here. The whole thing is just beautiful and they work really well. So highly recommend those. These would be a great gift for Christmas or just get them for yourself and have some amazing sharp knives and it looks beautiful on your countertop. Another thing from the same um, brand, the beautiful by Drew, Drew Barrymore, this is freaking heavy, is a Dutch oven. There has been a few times in my life where it's called for a Dutch oven and I haven't owned one and then I was like, oh, freaking life. In the middle of my recipe, I decided that I don't have Dutch oven and it's just all gone to crap. So I will say the only thing is there's a weird texture. It's like, it's like paint or something like like rough matte paint I hate the way it feels so I hate the actual texture of the outside I'm a weirdo I have issues I can't touch sand with my fingers it makes me feel sick and this is kind of like that it kind of has that like dusty like ugh, ugh, dry kind of rough outside Ooh, I, like I don't even want to touch it. it makes me feel sick but that's what the actual lid um, handle looks like so it's just a nice, simple white and gold. And then the inside, the inside is smooth and silky. I like the inside. It feels really slippery and shiny. I just hate the way the outside feels. So the inside is just like that nice, big, shiny um, inside. Ugh, if anyone else has that, it's like, ugh, it's like, feels like paint, like dried paint. When you touch a wall that's not like the mat or the eggshell, ugh, I hate that feeling. It makes me feel so nauseous. But anyway, really beautiful. Next are the candles. Am I focused? I better be. Yeah, I am. These are amazing, you guys. They're super affordable. If you're just looking for a good, affordable pumpkin fall candle, these are by Mainstays. They just smell amazing. This is, me and Jay used to burn these all the time in our house when we first got together. Our first apartment was so amazing. You guys never saw that one because we weren't vlogging then. But we looked out onto a lake and there was all these ducks every morning and geese and baby geese. It was amazing. And we would go and walk around every single morning and we would like let the, the, the sun come in our room and we would always have these, these three candles burning. And so when I smelled it, it just instantly made me think of when we first moved in together. It was like my most favorite like it was just so awesome anyway so mold cider is amazing and you can actually peel these stickers off it says easy peel let's see how easy it is oh it is easy okay i've taken the whole label off now but this one is mold cider it smells like hot apple cider it's absolutely delicious and they make they actually make your house like the room smell really good um whenever i burn candles though my air purifier kicks on and it, it's the air the air quality goes red and it gets mad so burn at your own risk <laughs> um but they do smell amazing it's like when you have people coming over and you just want your house to smell homey sometimes you just kind of burn a candle um this is the pumpkin spice one. Oh, it smells like pumpkin bread it just is so yummy it has a really good like kind of spicy but sweetness to it and then this one is apple cider donut Oh gosh, it smells so good. It smells so much like a donut and so much like apple cider. It's like the perfect apple cider donut candle. So I absolutely love those ones and these ones are super duper affordable. Okay, and then this is counted as an, a separate thing because it's a different brand, but this is the Better Homes and Gardens Farm and Farm Apple and Pumpkin. Another great gift idea for teachers, neighbors, coworkers. If you just don't know what to get someone, candles are always good. I like these ones because they look a little bit more chic. They have the wood top. It just looks a little bit more like, oh, fancy nancy. Um, I've been burning this one. This one smells really good. It's basically like very apple-y, like a very just like fresh Macintosh apple. Smells amazing. And then you can just put the lid on and it just looks a little bit fancier on the counter. Next, we have this. This is by Better Homes and Gardens. Again, it's the uh, Acacia Cake Stand. I love acacia wood. I think it's beautiful. And this is just absolutely gorgeous. Not only could you um, put cake on here, but you could also display perfumes. You could put your foundations, jewelry. I mean, there's so many different ways to use a cake stand. Um, I don't quite know what I'm gonna use it for because I keep on looking and I think, oh, this would be so cute for perfumes. But it really would be pretty to like display your perfumes or maybe have your diffuser. Ooh, okay, that looks quite cute, doesn't it? Great to hold a little diffuser. 
I mean, that looks quite adorable. So anyway, there's, those are the, the few ways that I would use it if you don't want to use it for a cake stand. We don't have cake very often, and I have a couple cake stands already. Um, I try not to make cake as much as possible because then I eat it, you know, and then it's a real problem. Another thing that I'm pretty sure is from Better Homes and Gardens, uh-huh, it's the angled bowl large. Again, I think it's acacia wood. So beautiful. Currently, I have a bunch of English goodies in it. You guys, these right here, Jaffa cake. I So I do a swap with my friend who lives in England and we basically send like all the amazing junk food that we can't get in the other person's country. So she sends me things like Jaffa cake balls and timeout bars. And what else have we got in here? We, it's getting pretty thin. Cadbury brunch bars. Oh my gosh, these are amazing. Maltesers, refresher softies, um, fudge bars roses like seriously she just hooks me up but i send her all the stuff she can't get there anyway so that's what i currently have in here it was a lot fuller but i've been trying to gain all the weight back that i've lost um so yeah this is a gorgeous bowl but i thought it'd be really beautiful for salad um but you could also store a bunch of junk food in it too if you're like me so gorgeous bowl really pretty very nice um and it just like kind of, it, it makes your salad look elevated. I will use it for salad one day, but for now I'm just storing all my chocolate yummies in there. This is probably our most used one. It's a little bit messy. I will say they're kind of hard to clean. Um, let me just show you the box. These are super affordable. Last time I checked, they only had the red left, but they're amazing because I think it was like $9. This is the Nostalgia My Mini Waffle Maker. I don't even use it for waffles. We use it for egg waffles. So this, I saw this on TikTok this little like recipe and it was using one of these little mini waffle makers. So basically you open it up. They are very hard to clean. I will say that they say to use like a wet cloth. It's, it's really difficult because the cracks are tiny. So it's just like such a pain. Like this isn't even cleaned properly at the moment. You can't get it wet. It's just really annoying to clean. I will give it a thumbs down for that, but it makes the most amazing little egg waffle. I can't eat egg waffles because I can't eat eggs, but basically you spray Pam, you crack an egg right into the center of this bottom bit. Then you're gonna add chopped cilantro, chopped tomatoes, chopped Canadian bacon, sprinkle some Mexican shredded cheese, close it up, and it literally makes this most perfect waffle that is just egg and then it has all it cooks everything perfectly this you just plug in and this just turns off when it's ready and then you open it up pop it on a plate it's such an easy dinner if you guys are like you know oh gosh i just need to like feed my family but i didn't prepare i'm terrible i hate cooking i'm busy i'm trying to freaking do a full-time job while running after kids while grocery shopping i've got like all these things that i have to do in the day and the last thing i want to do at night is like prepare this amazing magical dinner i'm just not that person so Luckily, Jay's okay with it. But I just want to find things that are just easy at the end of the night that I can feed people that everyone likes. I don't obviously eat them, so I'll usually just have like a salad or a piece of cheese and tomato juice if, if I am cooking this for these, for you know, for dinner. But it's great for like breakfast in the morning because it's super fast and it's just, you, you can make it to each person. So, you know, Lily doesn't like Canadian bacon. She just likes the egg and the cheese. Phoenix likes cheese and Canadian bacon. Jay likes cilantro, tomato, all the good stuff. So you can kind of like customize them, whatever you want to put in them. And they're so easy. It literally takes a couple minutes. It's not hard at all. And they absolutely love them. Like they just go crazy for them. So highly recommend you guys try it. And it's $9. So I mean, it's just under $10. Okay. And then the last item is um, these washable rugs that they started carrying at Walmart. You can just if they get messy, you can just throw them in the washing machine and you're good to go. So the only thing is that you are going to need like a non-stick or a non, or I'm sorry, a grippy pad underneath because they slide around a bunch, especially if you have kids and animals, they do slip and slide. So you do need to get like a grippy bottom because they don't have that grippy bottom because you can throw them in the wash. So it's kind of like, you know, it's a tricky one. You can't have it all, but these are really great. If you do have pets and you do have kids and there's just, you know, things that spill or whatever happens, you can just easily put them in the wash and they're super, you know, easy to wash and dry. So I'm going to show you guys those on the floor because they're currently in my hallway. Um, they do come a little brighter than what is pictured on the website. So I, when I thought, 
when I initially got them, they looked kind of more rust and kind of like a little bit more muted. When I got them, they're a little pinker than I thought. So just keep that in mind. The colors are a little bit more muted online. They're definitely a lot more vibrant in person. So, you know, just take that into consideration when you're ordering. But it's always nice when you can just have a wash that, or have a rug that you can quickly put in the wash. Okay, guys, so here is the rug. So you can see it's a little pinker than I expected. I thought it was gonna be a little bit more rust. I think it's really just the edge that's the most pink, but I was hoping it was gonna be a little bit warmer, but it is really cute. And if you're going for, I mean, they have numerous different colors and styles on there. Um, this one is just a little pinker than I thought, but it's really beautiful. I love the pattern, really gorgeous. And then the bottom, is super nice and soft so you can just throw it in the washer well, everything will be linked that you guys see here and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in my next video